is to have the best team at City Hall the city has ever seen. I think it's really important that as mayor, I not be the smartest person in the room. Today, Randall Woodfin announced the first two members of his transition team. The mayor-elect plans to surround himself with proven community and business leaders. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. We got the first peek at what that transition team will look like today when mayor-elect Woodfin unveiled two powerful co-chairs who will pave the way for when he takes office November 28th. CBS 42 News reporter Conan Gasquies live at City Hall with how they fit into Woodfin's plans for Birmingham's future. Conan? Sherry, the mayor has taken some time to rest since winning the election last week, but today he started the process with surrounding himself with talented individuals who can help him achieve his goals as mayor. He knows it's a process that's going to take several weeks, but he hopes the end result will be a talented team that can help him achieve those goals. <laughs> Randall Woodfin has lofty goals for Birmingham, and he wants great people to help him achieve them. And we do it by surrounding ourselves with the best and brightest people in our community. That's why he chose proven leaders as his transition co-chairs. General Charles Krulak is a former Birmingham Southern president and decorated commandant in the Marine Corps. The major priorities of the Woodfin administration tackle many of the real issues that the city faces. Bobby Knight is a retired Alabama Power Vice President and community activist. She'll co-chair the team with Krulak. We've made some great strides in recent years on many fronts. And I believe we're on the cusp of becoming a truly great American city. Together, the co-chairs bring experience to the side of a young politician. They're the first additions to his team, which will grow over the next few weeks. It starts with an assessment of current city personnel. It's important that we have a fair and open process as it relates to how we transition. And so we take into consideration all the institutional knowledge that exists at City Hall. That includes each department head. But Woodfin's also asking other citizens who want to be involved to apply. I think it's also important that I have the best talent the city can offer in providing services to the people that live in our city. And of course, he has to hire more than just a transition team. He has to hire a full team that's going to help him out throughout the entire time that he is a mayor. I'll tell you a little bit about the process and what he's looking for in those folks coming up at 6. Live at City Hall, Conan Gasquee, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.